What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Super excited. Here shortly, my family and I are jumping on a plane. We're gonna fly out to the Midwest to Wisconsin to meet up with Matt, his family, and a couple of our buddies. You know, Matt's been on this trip for the last uh, couple couple of months or so, and uh, it's been a little weird not being able to fish together and stuff, but uh, super excited. You know, this trip has been over a year in the making. This is the exact trip that we were trying to do last year when Matt got in that horrible accident. So fast forward a year, we're getting the families together, we're gonna vacation, hopefully get the girls and the kids on some mega smallmouth, some big smallies. So come along guys, as we have a good time and try and catch some big smallmouth. This isn't just another video. This isn't instruction. We're taking you guys along on our actual vacation. We're in Green Bay now. To be more specific, we're on Sturgeon Bay. The Sturgeon Bay Open ended yesterday, and we are just up here to have a good time. We're not talking about a bunch of instruction. We're not here specifically to teach. We are on vacation but we wanted to bring you guys along for us. Sturgeon Bay is one of the most famous smallmouth factories in the world. This place has big fish in it. It can get tough like anywhere, and this year, it's been pretty stingy by Sturgeon Bay standards, but that's not gonna stop us. We're here looking for big ones, and I think it's going to happen. The little kids, they can't get out on the boat with us. This place, it's the ocean. It can be dangerous. It can get big really quick. So the kids aren't coming along, but I think JD is big enough. He's probably gonna get a shot at a big one. But again, we're on, we're on a true vacation. We've got good friends here with us. We're just running cameras for fun. We're hoping the girls can catch some monster smallmouth. We're just bringing you guys along to have a good time. We hope you enjoy it. You found him? Nice 
There you go. <laughs> awesome. Like freaking giant. Oh, is that why they're acting like this? I think so. And they're big. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. Mm -hmm. Drop it. Okay, give it to him again. Oh, drop it, drop it, drop it. Set. Don't reel, just let him go, let him go. Reel, 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 reel. Keep him away from the boat, keep him away from the boat. Good job. Reel down. Here, reel, reel, reel. Keep him away from the boat. Reel. Come this, you reel. That's a good one. Lift up. Okay, wait, 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 wait for him to come back. Wait for him to come back. Don't bring him back. Reel. Reel down. Reel down. Yeah. Keep reeling.
JD's new PB. What is it? 5.26. 5. <laughs> awesome job, JD. <laughs> Dude, get him in the boat. That's not a pike. It's a muskie. Is it? I've That's never, a muskie. I've never ever seen one. Welcome to Door County. How crazy is Sturgeon Bay? This is just a sampling, guys. We had the most amazing trip, and it really was just a vacation for us. Kobe and Coop caught a bunch of giant fish. Kobe had one over six. Those guys never even turned a camera on the whole time they were out there. We just had a blast. I'm glad we got to share a little bit of it with you. We had one over six, a bunch over five. JD caught his new personal best. JD's got one over five. How amazing. We had such a good time up there. We're so glad that we got to at least share a little bit of it with you. We caught these fish a bunch of different ways. When you're up there in that clear water, it is primarily a spinning rod finesse game. And when we go up there, we embrace it. We show up with a whole pile of spinning rods and we go for it. A lot of four, five, six, seven pound fluorocarbon really, really light line, limber rods. We had one area where we got into some murky water that had been really wind blown and churned up and we were able to get away with bait casters and heavier gear. But for the most part, it was light line and long fights for those giant smallies. We caught them on all sorts of different baits. The baits that stand out in my mind, the Kitek, of course, anytime you're around smallmouth, both the Easy Shiner and the fat swing impact. Mega Bass's dark sleeper. We caught so many fish on that dark sleeper. It was incredible. We caught fish on jerk baits. We caught them on A rigs. We caught big ones on tubes, big ones on the drop shot. So many different ways. And we'll link the main baits that we were throwing down in the video description for you along with some of the gear that we were using. Because when you start tying into five and six pound smallmouth and you're using five pound fluorocarbon, the equipment that you use is critical. But anyway, guys, we had a ball on this trip. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us. It was so much fun. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.